Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and in this video I'll be talking a little bit about GPU prices possibly going lower and lower. Something that I've noticed very recently is that GPU prices have been readily going down. Unfortunately, a lot of GPUs are being listed at decent prices and then they go out of stock really quickly, but the fact that they are in stock for a little bit and some gamers are taking advantage of these quote-unquote deals that are available, that's good. So I'll talk a little bit about that and for those of you eager to get a gaming PC right now, I've got a pretty decent option option over on eBay for a pre-built computer. Also want to mention a free game available right now. So going to cover all of that. For the free game, I'll mention that right away real quick. You can pick up Lethal League over on Fanatical. It's a pretty quirky game and it released a while ago. It's got a cool art style. It's a multiplayer centric game. So check that out. It's absolutely free and they are giving it away as a part of their spring sale. They've got an awesome spring sale going on right now and use the code SPRING10 to save an extra 10% on a lot of the games you can buy over there. So check that out. Check out Lethal League. It is absolutely free. I a partnership with Fanatical where I gave away 10,000 copies of that, but now it's free for everybody. So give that a look. Now let's talk about some GPU prices, and this has been a big topic in the PC gaming world. One of the main factors limiting a lot of gamers and stunting the growth of PC gaming, I mean, going back to June of last year, GPU prices have been extremely high, and even more recently, they've just shot up exponentially. But there have been some decent deals available recently on various graphics cards. Now, I don't know if this harkens to the entire direction of the GPU market. However, some decent deals include a GTX 1070 from Aces being $410. That's an 8GB GPU for the 1070. 410 is not bad. It has been cheaper in the past. Don't get me wrong on that. But $410 for a GTX 1070 is really solid. And that was available pretty recently, I think a few days ago. Now, obviously, as I mentioned, it came in stock and then it went out of stock really, really quickly. So with GPUs right now, you really have to be a sniper. Decent deals are coming available, but they go out of stock very quickly. And when I say decent deals, again, I'm always speaking on current climate of PCO hardware. A year ago, these would not be good deals, but you guys get the idea. Another decent deal that was available was for an MSI Radeon RX 480, a 4GB GPU for around $250. That GPU was around 210, 220. So 250 is still a markup, but still pretty decent. So all things considered, that was a pretty good deal. Again, went out of stock very quickly, but I'm noticing more and more deals like this becoming available. So definitely give Reddit r slash build a pc sales a look i would highly recommend to subscribe to that subreddit also one of the tips that i've always given is sites like newegg sign up for their email newsletter because a lot of great deals go through there and those are the people that know about it first it kind of first goes to people that are on specific newsletters and then it trickles down to sites like reddit so you really want to be on top of everything if you are looking to get a good deal being a part of newegg's newsletter is just really nice outside of gpus they've got a lot of good deals on pre-built computers monitors and i can go on and on everything newegg has to offer there's always some sort of deal right there. Pretty much every other week I find myself wanting to buy something. So do that. And hopefully for those of you still sticking with this and still want to build a gaming PC and are looking to get a graphics card, you will be done just as soon enough. So yes, not everything is looking up. But personally speaking, I've noticed some positivity when talking about the GPU market. So there you go. Finally, for those of you looking to get a gaming PC right now, I've got a pretty good one over on eBay. They've got the HP Pavilion Power 580-023W. It's a pre-built gaming desktop. It's got an Intel Core i5 7400 at 3 gigabyte GTX 1060, 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 1 terabyte hard drive. So a pretty budget oriented build, a 3 gigabyte 1060 is nothing to write home about, but it is pretty solid for 1080p gaming. And this is a refurbished PC, but for the price, you really can't go wrong. It's down to $533. It was actually down to $480 yesterday because eBay was running a site wide sale. So unfortunately, I didn't get you guys updated on that, but still for $533, solid deal, a 1063 gigabyte with an i5 7400 that can run the majority of titles at 1080p at really solid settings and really solid frame rates. Not a super high-end build, but for the majority of you that watch my channel, I'm pretty sure you're on the more budget side of things. So this is something that is probably going to be right up a lot of your guys' alley. So give that a look. 533 for an i5 7400, a 3 gigabyte 1060, 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, Windows pre-installed. That is a huge factor. If you value that at 70 to $80, that is a gigantic portion of that 533. So give that a look. And that is going to conclude this video, guys. Like I said, check out Lethal League. Absolutely free right now from Fanatical. Also check out 
out their spring sale going on right now, use the code SPRING10 to save an additional 10%. And again, I have been noticing some positive things within the GPU market. Not sure if this is forecasting the future, but I am hoping for the best as I have been for the last nine or so months. And for those of you that are eager to get a gaming PC, that HP Pavilion Power 580-023, yes, it is refurbished, but that is such a great price, so check that out. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.